I want to jump. Yeah, like I can see it. Babe, what are you, are you really? <laughs> I don't understand. Flight SimCon 2016. The day is today and it's already starting. Just right behind me, you can see everyone is already queuing up. They're already registering and getting ready to come in the main hangar. Just right there along the other side there is the big room where all the seminars are going to be taking place. And of course, we look forward to taking you in there a little bit later. Come along with me. Let's meet everyone that's here today. Obviously, it's the New England Air Museum. We've got beautiful aircraft everywhere. I mean, who wouldn't want this to be their bedroom, right? What a perfect place for a flight simulation convention. Right up at the front, we've got Orbix set up. Right over here, just to the left, is the Jetline Systems booth. And they are teamed up with the guys from Rex. They're going to be making their big announcement just a little bit later on. Zoom in on that. You got to get that. There it is. That is the aircraft everyone's waiting for. There's Corey. We've got Lars over here. The whole team is here. They're ready to set up. And as you can see, there's a joystick there, which means if we're lucky enough, somebody's going to get to actually sit down and fly that thing. Amazing. Let's move on. Oh, no way. Go Flight's all set up with their cool toys. The guys aren't here just yet. We're looking forward to getting my hands on some of that a little bit later on. Not sure what's going on here, but this looks like a pretty cool little setup. Right down here at the end are the guys from Just Flight. You're on camera. Don't worry, it's not live. You guys are still setting up. I see some we nice toys down here. We're you are. We are. We're kind of doing the English American divide of different types oh, of birds. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> How many birds can you have? Excellent. And here we can see there we've got some of the awesome Just Flight toys there that'll be on display today. Looking forward to that. You guys are gonna be showing off air hauler too, correct? Yep. Still yep. in, uh, still with the uh, the, uh, access. the with light, the the pre test or something. Like early that. access. Yeah. Early yeah. access. When does that get re released officially? Before the end of the year is the full version. Excellent. It's getting great reviews at the moment. So. Awesome. That's great. Here, well, I look forward to being with you guys. See you later. later. All right. Right down here toward the back is Active Sky. And for those of you guys who saw that video on YouTube recently, they're getting ready to show off something really cool, something new. Hopefully, we'll get to get with them a little bit later on. Definitely going to be a lot of fun on that. Oh, I'd love to have one of these at home. How's it going? Just moving our way up the center here. We've got Russ and his team from Sim Innovations. All of this full touchscreen. Finally, a good, affordable, and easy to use method to be able to have touchscreen interfaces and get rid of these things. Russ is going to be giving a seminar a little bit early on, earlier on, or later on rather, in the day. Really looking forward to catching up on that. We'll see you guys a little bit later on. Right over here, we got Boston Virtual ATC, and look at all the toys and everything lined up. We've got a three monitor set up over there, which is looking really nice. These guys are going to be busy doing aircraft control throughout the entire day. A couple of vendors still not set up. Down here, we've got more toys here from J Aviator and Flightplan.com. Looks very interesting, not too affiliated with them just yet, but really looking forward to learning more information there. Over here, the big A2A simulations group. They're going to be very soon showing off something brand new. Never before seen. Really looking forward to that. You guys are going to love it. What Scott's going to be showing off, and there he is there in the background. We've 
Guys from Rex are running around somewhere. Ken from Jetline Systems, all getting set up over here. Some huge news coming out of this booth a little bit later on today as well. Going to be very excited. And right behind you, all the guys from Orbix. The whole team is here. They're going to be showing off a lot of toys, a whole lot going on at this booth. Going to be a lot of fun. Let's work our way along. Light Beam is here. I saw him. Amir was here somewhere. He's running around. We're going to find him somewhere. There he is, right there. The guy in the blue shirt, Amir Salehi, Flight Beam. Awesome. Let's head over to the other hangar. I can't believe I missed all of this last year. Look at this. I definitely want to get this aircraft out of here and try to fly it. How's it going? So will you have some sort of aerial footage of the flight simcon going on in the other hangar as well? Um, I haven't taken footage of the flight simcon. I actually did a, um, it's about a 20 minute video flying through the entire museum. No kidding. Under the wing of one plane, up over the next one. Wow. And uh, it's up on the museum website. Well, they certainly trust you. You must have some really good yeah. piloting skills. <laughs> I've been doing some stuff over here for the last like five, six years. So. Wonderful. Awesome. Well, I hope to come back and check out some of your stuff later on. Definitely. Thank you. And then right over here, the guys from FFFF. Booth here. They were here last year. They're here representing this year. Nice fancy new curved screen going on there. Yeah, get me one of those. Very nice. And their package, of course, was just uh, released just a short while ago. So they're going to be here showing it off. It's going to be very exciting. See you guys later. Down here we've got the Eastern Hops booth. The guys with the big screen down there. They're going to be doing a lot of work here. It looks really exciting. Hey guys, how are you? Really looking forward to catching up with you guys a little bit later on. This is a very impressive setup. Absolutely. All right. You actually had to take it down if you wanted. Oh, did you? Yeah. Don't you hate that? <laughs> you, <were better. laughs> you guys have a good one. And that is pretty much it. That is Flight Con 2016. We are just about 15 minutes before the doors open and everything explodes. So for those of you who couldn't be here, now you know what's going on. I've got to go get to work. I'll see you guys later. It's a separate button. I can work that thing. I can't work this. This is you think I would be able to. Why don't you move the tripod? That right? thing is so. Yeah, I guess. I, mean, I guess we'll have to move it in a little bit. I can hold the microphone while you play. Huh? I was gonna do a little video just for a close up. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Perfect. There it is. Wow! Look at those rocks. That is amazing. Oh, it needs to be facing, doesn't it? Okay. Good. So um, go ahead, put on the headset, and um, I can first just, time. Yeah, first time. <laughs> Here we go. So if it's uncomfortable or blurry, we can adjust the straps for you. Oh my God. <laughs> so how's it feel? How's, uh, how's the headset feel? The headset feels uh, no, yeah, it feels fine. Okay. I don't know if it's adjusted right with the earphones. Oh my God. So um, look straight ahead. Okay. And uh, give the headset a good tap on the side. On any side? Yeah, it, that'll work. It's on the side of the headset. Much harder. Oh, there, there you're in the cockpit. Holy crap! <laughs> so uh, now hold up your hand. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm inside the cockpit. <laughs> Well, you gotta, maybe you gotta get down properly, I'll tell you. And on that note, uh, gentlemen, here are the Countdown? From... <laughs> I already stumbled. Don't call me God. Uh, again, okay? <laughs> not, 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 not a god of the convention. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
Yeah. We're on? All right, here we go. Wait, I gotta get my thoughts here. What was I gonna say? Oh, here we go. So <laughs> Is it because she's the only girl here? <laughs> Actually, let's take a quick pause. If you're on a fat pipe, you can click and be flying in minutes. Can I say shitload on, on the yeah, podcast? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, this is <laughs> to rated shitload R. of computers. Yeah. Was here. Days of trying to suss it up, but no, th this will be like a texture direct now, basically where you'll pick your looks, do them. Good scholar, get blow your weeks in mind. Governor Scott, the galley was in the wind up by the suss and our shit was here. Now, the we've got Dubrovnik upcoming as well, and also uh, another exciting uh, airport that I shall be announcing at the end of this talk. Stick around, there's a little bit of a bonus at the end. So again, I'm Alex Goff. I've been at Orbix for five years now, just a little bit over. I've done nine commercial airport projects. And I've contributed to a handful of regions. I'm like... <laughs> I'm getting ready to eat the microphone, huh? Okay. I'm getting... You're gonna love the convention. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. So, what's the uh, what's the plan on the questioning pack? I'm gonna ask you how you started up your company, um, your first projects, how you uh, how did you go about choosing those, and uh, then we're gonna get into your big stuff like Manila, and of course, finally now Salt Lake City, and what's the status on that okay. sort of thing? You ready? All right. All right, here we go. These are more airline pilots in here, aren't they? <laughs> I'm like a little girl. Like seriously, this is insane. I can't believe that you've actually made it out. Now this guy kind of looks like you. Is he your son? No, he's my son. Yeah, he's son. your son. <laughs> Why do you guys look similar to me? <laughs> so you're his son. Yeah, I'm his son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Behind the air manager program as well. Um, no, this not quite. The one behind the, the lead camera. developer is behind the camera. You're gonna come on and talk to us about it. Come on over and talk to us no, about it. To, yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, I'm Guillaume. Okay, nice to meet you. From the beautiful New England Air Museum, we have reached the end of Flight Con 2016. It's always a sad time for me. It's been a wonderful weekend. Uh, now, we were all here last year and we talked about the goals for 2016. Would you say, Nicole, that we have achieved our goals for this year? Yes, we have achieved our goals and uh, maybe even exceeded them. We had a very successful event. You know, it's great to have you back, DeAndre. I will always be back. <laughs> <laughs> I know last year was your first year and we were really uh, loved, uh, you know, lo looking forward to having you here. But yeah, it was a great event. We had over 500 people. We had m many more exhibitors. Uh, we had like uh, 30 exhibitors and we brought some exhibitors into the second hangar this year. Uh, the, the museum has three hangars, so now we're, we've expanded into the second hangar. We, our conferences were standing room only. We had some really great speakers, so it was a really good event. Now just really quickly, because there's a couple of faces down here I didn't think I met last year, just quickly introduce yourselves and tell us uh, what your end of the deal is in terms of making sure that this is a successful event. Uh, yeah, so yeah, so I'm Tom, and I've been working with the conference for a couple of years, and I just work with Josh, uh, Evan, and Nicole on bringing in exhibitors, uh, sponsors, and speakers. Uh, my name's Josh. Um, this was my first year working uh, with both Tom and Evan and Nicole on uh, helping put this thing together. Um, last year was my first SimCon, and uh, it the events it's a great event, and I I felt the the need to kind of pitch in my support. And Evan, you're probably my number one point of contact, but uh, it probably goes without saying, what is your, uh, your end of Flight Con as well? 
Well, again, same sort of thing. I work with the team here, Nicole, Joshua, and Tom, to try to make this event a reality. And of course, we bring our own community, Boston Virtual ARTCC, here to the event to demonstrate flying and controlling online, but of course in person. So people who are at the conference can see what this is all about, and they can try out some of our own users' home setups. Rather than seeing what Rex has on their supercomputer and what Jetline has on their multi-million dollar display, this is what a real person's at-home setup looks like. This is how they use it, and this is what they choose to do with it. I'm going to shift gears back to Nicole again um, because uh, I would say this was definitely a successful convention um, and looking forward uh, to 2017 the first question is, is are we going to have a flight some kind in 2017 I'm pretty positive that we are <laughs> I, I, I am and we'll be working on uh, getting that date uh, set in stone real soon and hopefully pin that down within the, you know the next month and uh, I believe it will be back here at the New England Air Museum, but well, you know, time will, will tell. Like I said, we'll, we'll get that out as soon as possible. We'll have that announced on our website. And, uh, you know, it'll be bigger and better. I think we'll, maybe we'll have closer to 700 people this year, if not more, or this coming to next year. Yeah, absolutely. I think that, uh, I think we're still in that stage because a lot of people say, well, you know, it's, it's far to have to go all the way out to Connecticut and we need something a little bit closer to home. Um, I still think that, that Flight Some Con is still in that growing stage where we still need to see, I think, I'm not sure what that number is, maybe you know what that number is, but what would be that number that you feel that we would need to achieve on a weekend and say, okay, we can do this two times a year, or um, we can consider moving it to another location. What would you, what would you say that number might be? It would have to be over a thousand and really to get this going t twice a year that's you know something I'm not really sure about because these people are coming to this event you know they they look forward to it all year so for them to plan to come twice a year I really don't think you know we'll have to get even that much more atten attendance and uh, that many more exhibitors because we, you know the exhibitors won't really be coming twice a year etc cetera, etc cetera. And it's hard. It's a lot of work. We're working it. We're very hard all year long. So, actually, the question I didn't ask you last year is kind of take us a little bit through that really quickly. So, we've reached the end of Flight Some Con 2015. Now the planning has to start at some point for 2016. At what point after the end of last year's convention did you begin the planning process for 2016? And kind of walk us through everything that you had to do until you got us up to opening day. We start immediately, uh, literally, you know, right after the event, we're sending out the survey and maybe doing some wrap up and sending thank yous and, and that sort of thing and um, uh, paying bills. And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. so we get that settled and then we start, uh, you know, w working on what date works for everybody. Um, so we start with that, then we come up with uh, the new you know, logos for, for the coming year and getting the paperwork ready for soliciting sponsors and exhibitors, updating the website, and then there's a lot of follow-up that happens and then it's on to getting the registration ready for usually at least December and then, um, and then what? And then <laughs> it just keeps going on. <laughs> wow, and the last big question is, is uh, with your event management company, does Flight Some Con generate a significant profit to keep this going? It gets better. It gets better. But, you know, we... we um... I mean, what did, I guess my question is, it's not at a loss. I mean, is it, is it really, because it can't be cheap to rent out this museum. No, it isn't. It can't it's be. very expensive. Yeah. And, you know, and our prices are, are very reasonable, I think, compared probably to other events, you know, hmm. admission and... Um, you know, exhibitors and, and, and such. So. And the amount of space required yeah. as well. Yeah, so as we grow, you know, there's more money involved in it, so we have to increase uh, that, our, our, our sponsor levels and our, our charges for exhibitors and, and uh, admission, etc. So for those of you development companies out there and those who have not yet seen the point of getting into Flight Sim Con, that's this is your opportunity to sponsor it even if you can't be here sponsor flight some con because we need your help we need to be able to have the space that we need and be able to pay all the people because you have a significant staff you come through the door and it's not you know what 
what I see usually is I see okay what developers are going to be there and who's going to be exhibiting and who's going to be giving seminars but the thing that we don't think about is is there's people that need to be paid they're out there all day they've got to make all these tags you have to take care of all the registration everyone needs to eat so it's very important that we have these sponsorships so that we have the support that we need in order to make this happen yeah just the operations in general uh, you know uh, yeah it, it's costly so we do appreciate our sponsors and you put up a lot of money we keep getting yeah. more and you know better sponsors do you have something to say Evan? sure yeah if i could just add to that or encourage anyone who's in interested in sponsoring exhibiting or even attending to get your registrations in early and that would be hugely helpful for us the more we know in advance the more we can plan the more we can think through what space we're going to need What's obviously challenging for us as a team is when people are last minute saying, can I exhibit, can I register, can I attend? And that makes it more challenging for us. We are a small team. Many of us are volunteers on the team as well. So the earlier people can commit, the earlier that we can get that support and also have the knowledge of who's actually going to be here, the more we can plan and make the conference that much more effective for all of us. Absolutely. Any parting words? <laughs> you can start us off, Nicole, on that one and then pass it down if you'd like. Okay, that sounds good. I'll choose you for that. <laughs> uh, well, gosh, parting words. I just really appreciate, you know, everything that everybody does to help this event uh, make, you know, so successful. And, and honestly, you know, uh, the BVA guys, they really do help out a lot, and I appreciate that. And, uh, again, our exhibitors, our sponsors, our uh, staff and the rest of our volunteers and then you know we have the hotel nearby which is always fantastic as, as well and we look forward to seeing everyone in 2017 and we'll announce that date as soon as possible can't wait yeah so i mean just to kind of repeat what nicole said we wouldn't be here without the support of our sponsors our exhibitors our media partners and of course the attendees so it's because of everyone like you guys that we were able to have this event. So uh, the best way to give back to us is by coming and participating and in any way you can. I'll keep it short and just echo what both, uh, what, what Tom said. Um, special thanks to everyone involved, exhibitors, sponsors, attendees. Um, not only does this bring together, you know, our individual community family, but flight simulation as a whole is a community and it's a big family and stuff like this brings it together and it's it's the sponsors and the exhibitors that help make it happen. To me this event is basically all the benefits of a nice family dinner or get together without the family. Basically everyone here, <laughs> yeah we're all friends, we're all great friends, we love each other. It's a wonderful experience, we are so happy to be here and to be able to support this in North America. You know, Flight Simulation has such a huge presence in Europe and we're just so grateful to be able to bring that same idea and that same concept here in North America. So again, encouraging folks who maybe haven't made it and been thinking about it for the past couple of years, make 2017 your year. For those many, many people who were returning to come on back and we look forward to seeing them again next year. All right, and I guess my final word would be, number one, thanks so much to all the sponsors who did get involved this year. Thanks so much to all of the exhibitors. There, I know there were a lot of developers the year before that weren't sure about it, a lot more came out. And every person that I interviewed today all said that they are definitely coming back next year. So that is already just a really positive start and really happy to see that. But most of all, thanks to all of you for doing all the planning, every, all the work that goes into it and making it happen because no one else is doing it. So thank you so much. It's a lot of fun. It's great to come out to Connecticut. This is such a beautiful museum. I think you've picked the right place and I like coming here. So um, thank you so much. It's been great. And I certainly look forward to seeing you all next year while we do it again. And hopefully we'll double that attendance. Thanks a lot. Thanks okay, thanks guys. And a shout out to Nova Wing 24. <laughs> thanks. <laughs>